Hello friends, so I just rewatched Lena's video, How to Find Yourself, which she posted about two months ago now. I'll link it down below. And I've been meaning to respond to it, and I just thought today was the perfect day. I spent it basically by myself. I did some laundry, if you can see the clothes hanging in the background, for, uh, bought food for the week. And yeah, I was just like thinking about the concept of this video and how you learning how to like be by yourself and like love yourself is such a slow but important process and i really love this video in that it's just about like you know it's like her she cuts together pieces of her life and like her just talking and her narration as in normal lena fashion was great and beautiful and um it's very inspirational but i think that what motivated me the most is that you it takes time for you to be comfortable in your skin and it's so great to like show that to the world even because it's like it can you can be a role model or an example for others like and not that I that's like my thought in life is that well, I'm gonna be confident in my skin because I want other people to look up to me but if that's like the byproduct of it then that's not a bad thing I guess but um yeah I think slowly I've learned to just be more okay with any thing that I do even if it's like I'll say oh um I'm not gonna do this like I'm gonna save money I'm not gonna buy books because I'm probably gonna show you all some books I got <laughs> in the, the latter part of this video and it's just like I have the intention is there and I just am better about not beating myself up over the things that I should have done and, and I'm just like all right I'll try again next like tomorrow the next week it, the like as long as I am trying to better myself I think that that's what's important and um I think I'm on a good path so far I think that's as long as I am constantly being like all right what how was this week and like you know being self-reflective is good because I'm you know I, I'm by myself I know myself so I should know all right I um I, I write down everything that I spend, what I do in the week, work-wise, fun-wise, etc. So I know how I can better myself for the coming week, and not and then also having a day like today, where it's not all rigid and like everything has to be a schedule. Like take your time, wake up whenever. Even though my body's like wake up early because you're an adult. <laughs> um, so wake up, do laundry, be get things you know checked off the list that you need to do, but do them on your own time is also like a it's a great part of being an adult I guess you run your own shit you, <laughs> you eat what you want and yeah this is like parts of finding your myself I guess but yeah the, the book haul I mentioned it's my little thoughts on <laughs> Lena's videos so let me know what you think about that my little rambles there and yeah it's like orders of books the first one being Gabby a girl in pieces and the crossed out part is a gordita a fat girl so it's very it sounds great it's like this um quinteros isabel quinteros first novel um and like the back is for all the gorditas flaquitas and in between girls trying to make their space in the world don't worry you got this so i'm excited to read this i just think i saw this and um i, I follow a lot of like latina twitters now and i think i saw someone post about that so i ordered it on amazon and I also ordered this, Radiance, by Catherine and Valente. I have not read the um, Girl Who Circumnavigated, what is it, Fairyland, something like that, that series that's been going around. I think I ordered it from the library forever ago, and then I just wasn't interested. So maybe if I like this, I'll try that. But I think a few of my favorite people, Marines, and um, who was it? Oh gosh several youtubers have said that they like that series so i think i'm gonna give it a chance for sure i don't know if i'm gonna buy it first i'll probably get it from the library I need to stop buying books <laughs> but yeah so this the cover got me and like it's like a steampunk so it, it's a deco pulp sci uh, science fiction alternate history space offer mystery set in hollywood and solar system what what i'm that's like the, the perfect first sentence and I also got The Girl From Everywhere by Heidi Helglig. I think, um, in other words, is that the YouTube channel? I'm gonna find it and link it below. She makes beautiful, like, this is what came out in this month. And this, like, 
the looks like her description got me so I like ordered it and I'm excited because water and ships and the whole uh, first paragraph Nick says spent her entire life aboard her father's ship sailing across the centuries across the world across myth and imagination I'm sold <laughs> And uh, lastly, of the uh, Amazon buys is In Other Worlds by Jhumpa Lahiri. I have the namesake. Is that the book? Oh god, that she's doing for it. I haven't read that, so I'm gonna read that and then read this. Because at first I was confused when I got this because it's, like it's a book about language. It's in Italian and English. And I'm so intrigued by that. That's what got me about this book is that I think since I'm bilingual, I would love to see what her thoughts are on languages. And just, yes, I'm very intrigued and then yesterday I went shopping started off at thrift store and then just walked around from other stores and at the thrift store I found Middlesex first $1.69 $1.69 y'all but I had to get it because I've heard so much about this book and yeah I'm excited to see what it's all about and it was a dollar and 69 cents and last but not least White Oleander who Max Modern Books just reviewed a little while ago also $1.69 and I was gonna walk away and just buy this and then I saw this and I was like didn't Max review this <laughs> so it was meant to be um but yeah I'm excited to see all about this because it sounds intense. It's like it tells the unforgettable story of Ingrid, a brilliant poet imprisoned for murder, and her daughter Astrid, whose odyssey through a series of Los Angeles foster homes, each with its own universe, its own laws, its own dangers, its own hard lessons to be learned, becomes a redeeming and surprising journey of self discovery. I am about it. I need to stop. For real. If you see me talking about buying any books, on Twitter, on anything, call me out because this is a problem. It's what almost the end of March, and I have what I was at 110 books. I must be at 120 now on read books. That's ridiculous. I need to get to reading. And the last two books I've read are on my phone. I read The Life Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck, which Lena recommended in a video, and that was great. Oh my god! And I also re am reading Clockwork Angel. Because I've had the PDF on my Kindle forever, months, years, like years, it has to be years, yep. And, and I'm intrigued, I'm in chapter 3 now, and Tessa is going through it, <laughs> so uh, we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, when I'm done with that, I'm gonna slowly get to the madness, all the books. But yes, enough rambling, let me know all your thoughts, how you're doing, how's life. Okay, talk to you guys soon, bye.